Morning, everybody. My name is Dan Quinones, and I'm the incident commander with Pacific Northwest Team 3 with your morning update on the flat fire. As usual, I'll start on the outside and work in. Continue to work with the contingency group, putting in those alternate lines, that shaded fuel break should they be needed, moving along at a really good clip all over on the western edge, moving around to the south. Up here in the northeast corner, uh, same thing with those, uh, those ulterior lines being put in. Uh, work is really getting wrapped up, and that's a great thing. So we're going to be rolling some of those resources back into the fire to make sure that they can have uh, productive work and, and keep the, the actions moving for keeping this fire small. Looking really good up here. Coming back into the fire, the structure group continues to be mobilized around the structures, uh, getting further intelligence on those things that are out there. Again, putting the data into the system for long-term use here in the community. Uh, they, they're still finding stuff out there and getting it on the map, and that's a good thing for all of us. Uh, but they are still available, and they're, and they're still uh, still positioned where they need to be and moving around. Uh, continue to work here in Alpha and Delta, patrolling, securing, mopping up any edges that need to be uh, need to be tucked in. But again, that black line is there all the way down. And I'll share some good news with you right now. We doubled our containment percentage from 14%. We're at 28% containment today across the fire. So good jump there, and that's a, that's good hard black making sure that that's not going to escape any containment lines. Up here, yesterday they worked some helicopters uh, for some hot spotting actions right in here. August 1st was yesterday, so it started heating up a little bit, as we knew. Uh, so starting to show itself. The IR products helped inform that discussion as well. Helicopters jumped on that real quick and uh, made sure that that stayed in check. And again, that line around that piece of uh, a fire edge is available, prepped, ready to go, should it need to be turned on. But we're going to keep that checking action going with helicopters to make sure that we can keep this fire small and, and, uh, and keep it parked where it's at to the best of our ability. Moving around the southern edge, also had a little bit of heat right here. Uh, talks were uh, yesterday. We did put some helicopters on that for a checking action as well. And we're also looking to insert some folks uh, via helicopter to uh, do a little bit of ground action there and make sure that doesn't go anywhere. Coming around the south end, not a whole lot of heat or smokes, but aircraft were working. Uh, got a little bit more fire in here to clean this up and uh, looking at that today with the aerial ignition should that need to uh, to be lit and if uh, if time allows our priority is down here and yesterday as you can see on the map got a lot more depth a lot more security on that line like we've been trying to get this fire out here was heating up as well good thing we got in front of it with our burnout operations along those road systems with that pre uh, pre-treated vegetation from the Forest Service taking out that material ahead of time. We do have a, a little thin area here, and that's the piece that was tested yesterday. We had a localized wind shift, uh, came, came out, pushed the, the smoke across the line, and we actually picked up a few spot fires just outside of that along the 401 uh, road spur. But we had resources along that road system with pumps and, and engines, and they were poised, watching, the, watching everything go on. And they immediately jumped on those spot fires, the largest being 20 by 100, got those quickly under containment, and the other neat thing about that was the smoke laying over the line. You know, we couldn't get helicopters in there to do the air support. And we know that from this area. Smoke is, uh, this fire and these fires, these west side fires are a big smoke producer. So we having that IR technology with that type three drone that we had on site was walking those firefighters. You can see through the smoke. It walked them right to it. The size of their palm of their hand uh, at their feet and uh, in that heavy smoke. We got all the tools in place. The plan is working. The plan is built. A little test. So August 2nd today, we're looking forward to, you know, more activity here in the near near term. In the middle of August, it's going to be the peak, as we all know. And we're moving with a purpose. But again, this depth, this additional containment percentage, the resources we continue to have on site, the plan that's been built, the plan that's been used, and the plan that will continue to be refined, it's working. So hang in there with us. Um, we got a lot of work to do. We're up to the task and uh, yeah, have a great day.